Hey, this is Andrew Brown from Exam Pro, and we are going to take a look here at AWS Command Line Interface, also known as CLI, which control multiple AWS services from the command line and automate them through scripts. So CLI lets you interact with AWS from anywhere by simply using a command line. So down below here, I have a terminal and I'm using the AWS CLI, which starts with AWS. So to get this installed on your computer, AWS has a script, uh, a Python script that you can use to install the CLI. Uh, but once it's installed, you're going to now have the ability to type AWS within your terminal, followed by a bunch of different commands. And so the things that you can perform from the CLIs, you could list buckets, upload data to S3, launch, stop, start, and terminate EC2 instances, update security groups, create subnets. There's an endless amount of things that you can do, all right? Um, and so I just wanted to point out a couple of very important flags. Flags are these things where we have hyphen hyphen and then we have a name here. And this is going to change the behavior of um, these CLI commands. So we have output. And so the output's what's going to be returned to us. And we have the option between having JSON, table, and plain text. Uh, and for profiles, if you are switching between multiple AWS accounts, you can specify the profile, which is going to reference uh, to the credentials file to quickly let you um, perform uh, CLI actions under different accounts. So there you go.